Toys R Us, the end of an era. If you spent your childhood anywhere from the United States to France to Spain to Hong Kong, it is likely that you remember at least one visit to Toys R Us, the massive kids' toy chain store with its bright and bold sign. You may remember running up and down the aisles, looking at all the exciting offerings from dolls to bikes to Legos. Toys R Us opened its doors in the 1950s. By the 1990s, it was the biggest toy seller in the United States. Because the store focused on just one type of product, toys, it was able to quickly become the most popular destination. In fact, many smaller toy shops went out of business because they could not compete with the huge selection and low prices of Toys R Us. But from now on, children around the world will be purchasing their toys elsewhere. Toys R Us has officially closed all of its stores. It is out of business. Money, money, money. The closing of Toys R Us is newsworthy for a few different reasons. This shutdown will have a big economic impact. It also shows us an example of how American shopping trends are changing. Toys R Us closed because it had a lot of debt. This means that the store had borrowed money and was having trouble paying it back. They owed $5 billion. This is because the store was struggling financially. One reason Toys R Us struggled was because of larger companies like Amazon and Walmart. In recent years, Many customers stopped shopping at Toys R Us because they were able to find cheaper prices and free shipping online. In fact, the number of toy sales made online has doubled in the past five years. Because Toys R Us owed so much money, they were not able to spend money on improvements to their stores. They were not able to create a better online shipping system that could compete with Amazon, pay their workers better wages, or update their stores. Oh baby! When Toys R Us announced their decision to close their stores, they talked about competition with Amazon and Walmart. However, they also talked about the declining birth rate in the United States. They explained that their products are made for babies and small children, and in recent years, fewer babies are being born in many countries around the world. For the past decade, birth rates have been dropping. Some think this may be a result of an event called the Great Recession that occurred in 2008. The Great Recession was a time of economic struggle and high unemployment in the United States and around the world. Many people lost their jobs, their homes, and their retirement savings. This event may have made people become more cautious about having children. Birth rates have dropped much more for families in their 20s than families in their 30s. This suggests that people are also waiting until a later age to have children. This may be a result of changing gender roles. More women are choosing to focus on building their careers before starting a family. If birth rates continue to drop, there will be economic impacts far beyond the closure of one big toy store. Many companies will have to change their approach to meet the needs of an older population. Regardless of reasons for closing, the closure of Toys R Us will have a big impact on families. The store employed 60,000 people worldwide and 30,000 just in the United States. All these workers will need to find new jobs. The more people without jobs, the more competition there is for jobs that do exist. Also, when people don't have jobs, they are less likely to buy new things for themselves. This hurts the economy or the money system of their country because now other stores are making less money. Play on. On its website, Toys R Us posted this message to its customers. Thanks to each of you who shared your amazing journey to and through parenthood with us. And to every grandparent, aunt, uncle, brother, and sister who's built a couch cushion rocket ship made up a hero adventure, or invented something gooey. Promise us just this one thing. Don't ever grow up. Play on.